Mr. Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not gonna jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful, and violent. Mostly Vorchai here. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Heard not Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irum. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth water, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. 
So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. To be honest, I did it so the Krogan would help your people. And believe me, it won't be forgotten. Our fleets will be there for Earth. I'll make sure of it. I know you will. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni War and Krogan Rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. pipe you got us. It was quite successful. The Normandy will explode long before the Corps needs to bend into the engineering compartment. So that's good news? Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was... Illness in him. Pain. And the Krogan who lived in these quarters, he was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. We're reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the Cosmic Imperative. 
The strong flourished. The weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free.